Today we're going to make a value snowman. First thing we're going to do is draw our snowman shape. So here's one that I've already drawn previously before the video. I'm going to try and draw it again. Draw the base or the bottom snowball first and then draw the top snowball. Top snowball should be smaller than the bottom snowball. If you make a mistake, draw lightly so that you can erase the mistake. It's easier to erase when you draw lightly than it is when you draw very hard. Next is the scarf. Make it so that it covers where the two snowballs overlap. I'm going really fast in this video because you're going to get a handout on how to draw the different steps to the snowman. So if you are having trouble remembering how to draw the snowman, you'll have the handout to help you step by step through it. Next, we're going to draw the stocking cap sticking off the side of his head. Now we're going to draw four lines to make the sections of our snowman. Four lines equals five sections. Now we're going to start painting the values of our snowman. First value that we're going to start off with is plain white without any black in it. We want to go from white to a darker gray on the other side. So start by painting the first section on the very left with the white. Once you fill in that section all the way, the next thing you're going to do is add just the teeniest, tiniest little speck of black to your white and make a gray that's barely recognizable as gray. You want to work really small with making your values on your snowman. If you make your snowman too dark, too quick by adding too much of your black, it will make your snowman too dark. We want to stay as light as possible until the very end or ver the very other side of your snowman. See how you can just barely tell that that's a little bit darker than the first section? That's what we want. For the next section, we want to add just a little bit more black. Each section should be slightly darker than the last. You should be able to tell a little bit of a difference between each of the values. Each time you add black, you should just do the tip of your brush into the black paint. And if you need to make it darker, do another tip of your brush in the black paint. Just do little bits at a time rather than trying to add way too much at once. You can't go back, you can only go dark. You can't go lighter, you can only go darker. If you go outside the lines a little bit, it's okay because we're going to cut this snowman out. The values in your snowman should make it look or appear like it's actually three-dimensional or round, like a sphere. Once you're done with the snowman, it's time to pick a color for your hat. The hat and the scarf are going to be the same color. I have already picked turquoise for my color. So I paint the first section of my scarf and my hat white, just like I did with the snowman. Next, I take just a little bit of my color and add it to a lot of my white. See again, you could just barely see that it's different from my first shade of plain white.
Again, I don't want to get too dark too quickly, so I only add a little bit of the color each time I make a new section. If it's not any different, you can paint over it with the next darkest color if you mix again. As you're painting the hat or the scarf, try and pick a color that you would like to paint the top of the hat. I wanted mine to be a little bit darker value, so I mixed a darker value. You can choose to pick, paint the top of the hat one of the colors that you've already done if you'd like, but make sure it's a value of the colors that you've already used. Once your snowman is dry, it's time to outline him. We're gonna use the ink markers that we used before. Make sure you use it or test it on the side before you start tracing your snowman because sometimes the pen might not work. My pen was struggling to work today, so I had to go over it multiple times in some areas because it was so dry. So I had to test it on the side of my paper a lot. Just outline the outside of the hat and the outside of the brim of the hat. Outline the outside of the snowman and the scarf. We don't need to do the individual sections of the snowman because that would get too confusing when we draw the face. You can pre-sketch out the face in pencil if you'd like or you can draw it directly in the ink marker if you'd like to. When it comes to coloring the nose orange you can use an oil pastel like I ended up using or you can use a colored pencil or a little bit of orange paint. But whatever you do, make sure that the black outlining is dry first. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a brown, black smeared nose. To make the snowy background, you need a piece of colored construction paper. Write your name on the back first, start off with some white paint, and whatever color you used for your background. So if you used a purple background, get purple paint. If you used a blue background, get blue paint. While the white paint is still wet, take some of that color and paint it right on top of the white paint. The white and the color will mix to make a little snow shadow where your snowman is going to sit. Next, take a little bit of white and your color and make some swirls in the background to make it look like a blustery, windy day. Your swirls can go in any direction. You can put them all over the place, pack as many as you want in there, overlap some of the white and your color together, making different values of swirls in your background as well. I even added some snowflakes in between the swirls and on top of the swirls to make it extra snowy. Next, cut out your snowman and glue him to your background. Make sure that everything is dry before you glue it all together. You can use a glue stick or you can use a glue bottle. Glue bottle might be a little bit stronger than a glue stick though. Don't forget to sign your work when you're finished.